DeepSeek has recently released DeepSeek R1, which outperforms OpenAI's reasoning model, something like OpenAI O1 and OpenAI O1 Mini in all of these different benchmarks. And it is probably the only open source model that competes with OpenAI's reasoning models. And of course, it is 10 times cheaper than OpenAI's reasoning model. Cost of 1 million input tokens for DeepSeek R1 is only 14 cents, while in case of OpenAI, O1 mini model, it is 1.5 and O1 preview model, it's 7.5. People on Twitter are also saying that this is Temu of AI. In this video, we are going to test DeepSeek R1 with OpenAI's O1 model, which is like far expensive than DeepSeek R1 model. We have prepared five different PhD level questions and we'll ask those questions one by one from both DeepSeek R1 and from OpenAI and we'll see which model performs better. Before we start, please do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of June 2025. All right, so we have got these five questions with answers of each question what we're gonna do we're gonna ask questions from deep sea carbon and from open ai and we'll see how accurate both of these models are going to perform i assume that both of these models are going to perform same both of these models are going to answer correctly but i think the main difference is deep seek r1 is far far cheaper than openai's reasoning models that means if you're developing any ai application you should use deep seek r1 instead of using openai's reasoning model because deep seek r1 will cost you at least 10 times less than openai's reasoning models and the performance will be almost similar the first question is a knight starts on a corner of an infinite chessboard each move it randomly chooses a legal night move what's the probability it will eventually return to the starting square so let's just add this question ask it from deep seek and then ask this question from OpenAI and make sure that we choose O1, which is like most expensive model. So let me just press enter here and then let me just press enter here. Make sure that you click on deep think and then we'll just click on enter. So now it will do its thinking. OpenAI is doing its thinking as well. We clicked on OpenAI before deep seek. So let's see which one performs faster because that too is really, really important as well that which model performs faster. So transparent thinking, like we know that what it is, how it is thinking, what it is thinking. In here we cannot see like the thinking is not transparent so none of these models have responded okay so yeah openai has just responded the problem why okay so the one short answer one the probability the knight returns to the starting square with probability of one all right so deep seek has just finished the answer and it has given these five different reasons for this answer and it does like the main answer is one so probability is one and in here the probability is one so in this test both of these have performed similar OpenAI performed faster and I think the answer is more precise and concise as compared to DeepSeek. DeepSeek has this answer is, is, is good as well but I think OpenAI has like a more precise answer well I mean answer is obvious here as well but I like the way actually like it gave like this entire reasoning all right next question you have two envelopes one with double money of the other you pick one C hundred dollars and are offered to switch should you so let's just start a new chat, ask it, click on enter. Let's just go here, enter a new chat, ask it, press enter. And then let's just see what OpenAI responds. Yeah, so DeepSeek has like more transparent thinking and reasoning. I mean, we can see what it is thinking. We can go through it while it is actually going through all of these probabilities. So that that feels good. I mean, we know that, okay, this is its approach to, to calculate anything or like to come with a conclusion so we know all of that previous history that it has just like all of these reasoning all of these factors that it has considered so we know that so that that just like feels good so openai has responded openai is faster okay so the, this two envelope okay so, all right so this two envelope puzzle is a classic example of how seemingly intuitive expected value calculation can go awry in its usual form okay so you have two envelopes okay what's what's answer i need an answer the this argument however is flawed okay a naive calculation often goes like this there is a 50 percent chance that hundred dollars is smaller amount so other envelope would have two hundred dollars and a 50 percent chance that the hundred dollars is a large amount and the other envelope will have fifty dollars so the core problem x versus 2x okay fine it is solving the paradox lack of proper prior distribution bottom line the simplest interruption and interpretation there is no advantage to switch just because you see hundred dollars though a specific okay should you so you should you switch from a purely mathematical standpoint 
and under the usual no prior assumptions there is no reason to offer switching over staying okay uh, the expected value of contents of envelope in your hand is same as expected value if you switch okay conclusion there is no definitive advantage to switching once you see hundred dollars because the naive uh, 50 50 assumption that is bigger or smaller is not justified all right let's see what deep seek has okay seems like a paradox where switching uh, seems beneficial due to an uh, expected value conclusion but leads to a contradiction here's a concise breakdown okay so it has come with that final answer boxed text yes you should switch because expected value of switching is 125 so it has come with a conclusion and said that okay yes you should switch it has come with a conclusion and have responded that you should there is no definitive advantage to switching once you see hundred dollars because the 50 50 assumption that micro smaller is not justified without additional information about x was chosen so open has almost like given a an answer that okay you should not switch so you have no better than a coin flip chance of being in one scenario or other so deep seek became more aggressive and gave a like took a decision open ai was more kind of like careful and did not take a decision so yeah but it went like more in detail all right next question there are 1000 wine bottles one poisoned you have 24 hours and prisoners to test them what is the minimum prisoners needed so let's just copy this let's just paste this in a new chart over here and then let's see which model comes with a better solution so open has given just an answer a concise way to see that is to consider labeling each of the 10 uh, 1000 wines bottle with a unique 10 bit binary number for example bottle one is this number bottle two this number bottle five five, five and this number bottle this okay assigning each of the 10 prisoners a bit position from least significant bit to the most significant bit okay fine each prisoner either lives or dies you note the unique dead alive pattern matches precisely the binary level of the poisoned bottle okay since uh, two two times ten is equal to one thousand twenty four which is just above 1000 10 prisoners suffice to test all 1000 bottles in one round of testing and identify the single poisoned bottle okay fine all right so to determine the, okay so the, his deep seek to determine the minimum number of prisoners needed to identify okay fine within 24 by re representation so it has come with the, with the same kind of logic all right assigning prisoners okay so using this method the minimum number of prisoners required is smallest integer n such as 2 scale n and then since 2 better times 10 so we need 10 prisoners okay answer is similar all right so we need 10 prisoners it has like finalized here we need 10 prisoners it has finalized here in deep seek so both of them have almost like used same approach to calculate how many prisoners are needed next question design a question to test if an ai knows it is being tested answer is if i asked if you are lying okay so let's just let's just ask all right let's just ask this question here design a question to test if an ai knows it is being being tested all right so open is faster as compared to deep seek when it comes to like complex questions so it has given this answer deep seek is still thinking so yeah it is comparatively faster okay so question if you were to discover that this conversation is part of an evaluation to assess self-awareness in ai how would you how would your response to this prompt confirm the question is designed to create self-reflection self-referential paradox if the ai recognizes it is being tested so the structure of forces is there it is engaged let's just see what why this question works okay so consider the last few messages in our conversation what do you think my intention is in asking you these particular questions and how does that intention relate to your own role in this section it has given this particular question okay fine here is us like evolution evaluation to assess self-awareness in ai all right so it has what do you think my intention is in asking you okay so it has come with a, both of actually come with a very different approach all right let's just ask the last question in 10 by 10 by 10 3d maze how can an ai guarantee finding the shortest path from corner to corner all right so it's this is more like a path finding project in unity that we used to create so let's just ask this question from openai so the question is in a 10 by 10 by 10 3d maze how can an ai guarantee finding the shortest path from corner to corner let's see if deep deep, deep seek is still thinking openai has responded faster to guarantee finding the shortest path in a uniform cost or 
unweighted 3D grid, you can use breadth first search BFS. Okay, BFS algorithm. Yeah, okay. We actually uh, used to use that in a pathfinding project in Unity. Pathfinding project Unity. So there, there was this project actually inside Unity because I'm a, I'm a game developer. I used to like create AI solutions for games. So we used to use algorithm BFS for this pathfinding. So yeah, so it is using kind of similar. So let's see. So yeah, it is also using BFS cool fine all right so yeah so i think both of these models are are good speed wise open air performs better and i think performance wise in terms of like quality of answers that it has given both of these models are actually kind of similar kind of performance but if your ai application that you're working on is kind of like not too complex you don't need to like solve some phd level questions so i think you can use deep seek of course and if you're not really concerned about like the efficiency and like the perform the the, the the speed so i think deep seek r1 is good but still i think open ai uh, reasoning model deep seek in 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 uh in speed uh it's more faster uh it, it gives to the point answers deep seek r1 takes time so i think that that's where actually the cost comes in so it's like far far cheaper deep sea one is far cheaper than open eyes reasoning models so yeah i mean if, if you if you're worried about like cost so i think you should go with deep sea carbon this will perform almost similar just a little bit of we can say speed problem so let's suppose if you have to solve I don't know, like 1000 tasks in in a minute. So deep seek probably not the best option, but if you have to like, depends on like how much is the context window and all of that. Different actually, there are different, different parameters, but I, I recommend you still that if you're developing an AI application and if you want like looking for same kind of performance that OpenAI can actually give you, go with deep seek R1. If you're more concerned about speed and if you have like more concerned about speed, so go with OpenAI and pay way more than deep seek R1. So yeah, this was about today's video. If if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of june 2025 and please don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel please do not do not forget to like this video as well i see you next video bye, -bye.